Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ryan Wood. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to tie a normal tie, as you can see right here. Um, the reason that I chose um, to do this as my project was because growing up as a kid, I always had my dad tie my tie, and I found myself having trouble like when my dad wasn't around uh, as like to what what to do. And then it just grew up into a it grew into a house that I always had to wait for my dad to get home to tie a tie or or he had to pre tie it so I had to you know like kind of just adjust it. Um, and this was just horrible for me growing up. So the reason why I chose this is so all the young people out there don't need to know how to tie a tie. It's easy, much easier than I thought. Once I learned how to do it, um, my target audience for this is really anyone, but for me at least, I am really directing this at younger people that need to know how to tie ties whether it's daily or every now and then um just to make it more convenient for them uh what i learned from my research was that um well i really learned a lot about the history of ties when they were really like you know made and like established and all that by who why they were um well how they came about which is actually a pretty funny story but um and then i learned all that there's like many different types of ties this is the easiest that's why i chose this one um there's many different ways to tie ties and actually every different color stands for something else which i also found um pretty interesting uh so now i will teach you how to tie the most simple tie that i know now all right the first step um of tying the simple ties you want to make sure that your collar is up because altogether it makes tying the knot easier and it makes, you know, moving around the tie to whatever preference you have a lot easier as well and it'll give you a lot of more flex flexibility. All right, so the first thing you should notice is that there's, of course, two sides. Uh, preferably, I put the long hit side on my with my right hand and the short side on my left hand. And if you look at the tie, the normal side, there's a normal side that faces out and there's a back side with a little pocket and the rough part. Make sure that the rough side on both sides, because you can see the seam there too, is against your chest, not facing out against your chest. So you want the smooth side facing out. All right, and then for like um, lengthwise, I like my ties a little longer than others, but it's all by preference. You want to make sure that your shorter side is shorter, of course, than your longer side. All right, and the first step is you want to take the long side and just cross over the short side and make a little X. Again, just cross over. And you can hold that with a pinky or, or the, the thumb or whatever you want. And then it should look like this now with the long side facing out. And then your next step is you want to take that long side and just bring it under. the others so now you can realize that the rough side is facing out and it should look like this right, your next step after that is the same thing bring the long side over again I'll do that one more time because I messed that up just bring it over back to root one it's pointing out again all right, and then for the next step, you can realize that there's a little hole in between my neck and the tie. You want to take the long one, the long part, and just bring it, just bring it up and under that hole and pull it out. And you should realize that the tie is starting to come and make a shape of its own. But now what you realize is that if you look behind it, there is a short side and a long side. The long side should be on top of the short side with the short side being shorter, of course, than the long part. And your next step is the part that I always used to get confused. If you look under this little pocket right here, right there, what you want to do is you want to take the long side and push it through that pocket right there. Okay, so now you can see that your tie is basically tied. Not quite, though, because you need to tighten it and make it look normal. So what you want to do next is you want to take the, sh the short piece and hold that. And you want to take 
your right hand and put it on the knot very loosely though. And what you wanna do is while pulling on this, you also wanna hold your knot loosely and nuzzle it up to your neck. So already you pull and you pull and nuzzle your tie at the same time. Okay. All right, and you can play with it and make it look however you want, but then you'll realize in the back, this is normally on every tie, there's a little pocket right there. And what you want to do is you want to take the small, um, the shorter side and put it through that pocket. Because then, you know, it just looks as, as one. And what you want to do next is you want to take your collar and fold it down over the tie. Alrighty. And then again, you want to pull that backside again and nuzzle it around and, you know, make it look better. You can mess with it and make it look how you want to look. This is just a quick demonstration, but that is how to make your normal tie. Thank you.